Well, good afternoon. On this beautiful summer's day, Robin and I have ventured down to a location on Anglesey called Kemlin Bay. Now, this is a stunning, remote, quiet location with beautiful wildflowers and beaches and pebbles. It is slightly marred by the fact we have a, a nuclear power station over there, but that's not going to spoil it for us today. We're going to make the most of every opportunity we have and spend some time exploring the little rocky coves and bays and hopefully come away with some interesting and slightly different shots. Well, I've moved down probably 50 yards from where I made a previous shot and I've come across this beautiful scene you can see behind me with the lovely colourful sea pinks and some lichen growing there. Now, I've shot it fairly, fairly wide angle, about 30 millimetres, but I haven't got enough depth of field. This is full frame and I want everything pin sharp front to back, so I focus stacked it. And I've taken three images, one for the foreground, one for the big ground and one for the background, all at f11. So I'll stitch them together in Lightroom and hopefully get that front-to-back sharpness I'm after. Now, I was totally convinced this morning when we set off that it would be a day of detail shooting only. And I had no plans to shoot a wide landscape, but at one point I thought I won't even bring a wide angle zoom with me, but uh, things have changed slightly. As I said, it's, it's actually better conditions than expected. And I think that's because we're on the Isle of Anglesey and we're getting some lovely fresh wind coming across and that's keeping the skies moving. It's keeping the haze and the pollution down and it's really working for us. That being said, I don't think I really want much sky in the shots because it's not beautiful and clean as it would be on maybe, you know, an early morning shoot or something earlier in the year. And I am now thinking I might shift the attention back towards the, the detail of the rocks. I brought a, a macro lens specifically for that purpose. So I may head off from this, this rugged location back towards where the car is, where we noticed early on a recce some seaweed and there are also different lichens growing there and the rocks are much smoother, uh, much less contoured and really eye-catching in terms of the colours. So yeah, I think it's about time to move on. Now, low angle shot. I'm actually giving myself cramp here. Uh, I've shot this dried up old seaweed you can see down here. Um, I took a picture about 50 millimeters on my standard zoom lens. Um, I didn't vlog it at the time because there were an old couple about six feet away from me and they already thought I was a bit, uh, bit mad photographing old seaweed. So here we are. I've made an image of this anyway. Took it from directly above. Uh, quite a bit of variation in the the height of the seaweed and the rocks and at close range focus is a problem so I took a few frames from different parts of the scene and I'll probably blend them together later to give me enough depth of field um, I just love the colors I don't like lying like this though because I am going to give myself a bad back so uh, fingers crossed it turns out okay oh <laughs> Right, well, we've been working around the rocky beach area for a couple of hours and I'll be honest, it's really hurt my back and we're struggling now to uh, get inspiration. It's been quite tricky because the light is incredibly harsh and it's difficult to actually see what you're shooting and focusing on. So we're going to actually move on now, probably go and get something to eat and drink 
and we may call it a day if it stays like this, but we have got a couple of possible locations to shoot on the way back home. Well, I'm very pleased to say that we've stopped off on the way home down the A55 and we've actually come across a beautiful setting here at Llandullus. We're looking back towards the Great Orm and Landidno and the sun hopefully will set over that horizon tonight and we'll get some beautiful warm colour coming up. Now the best thing here is we have groins running into the sea and we have beautiful rocks and pebbles which are going to be catching the water as the tide has just turned and we've got about an hour to go before sunset so we're really, really hopeful this is going to turn out to be a good evening. Perfect way to wrap up the day. Now, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that uh, I don't actually do sunsets. I, I do sunrises, I do mist, I do forests. This is uh, really out of my comfort zone and I've been struggling a little bit and running around like a headless chicken, shooting all sorts. So apologies for that if I do show you more than the image I talked you through uh, because the light's changing rapidly. It's about to go over the horizon. Could be an afterglow, a bit of blue hour. All new to me, these things, uh, as is shooting digital as well a lot. So, uh, yeah, please bear with me and uh, hopefully there's a few more decent images to come. Well, that's it. It was all a bit of a mad rush at the end. Uh, I think I got one or two images. I have to look at them in Lightroom, though, before I decide whether to put them into this vlog. But it was a great way to end the day. And certainly after the bright, harsh light we'd had, which was difficult to shoot on Anglesey, to have this on the way home is just a real bonus. So I've really enjoyed myself today. Something a bit different for me, digital and a sunset. Um, maybe I'll do it again sometime. Do hope you've enjoyed this vlog as ever. And I'll see you again on the next trip. Thanks for watching.